This is an ice cream sandwich, Android OS 4.0 smartphone, and it's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Crate CPU, that's S4, latest generation. Capacitive buttons down here. Definitely looks like a Droid Incredible, more than it looks like an HTC One S or One X, though it shares some of the same DNA. You can see we've got the red color accents around the lens there, the Beats Audio logo down here, the red power button. Inside it's all black though, no, no red this time. It's a good looking phone, soft touch back, feels good in hand. And we've got the lovely 4 inch display here, very sharp and very clear, super LCD. Fast and responsive. And running HTC Sense 4 in all its glory, which we like so far. It doesn't really overwhelm Android in terms of user interface stuff. And looking around the phone, on this side we have the volume rockers. Up top, the power button and the headphone jack. Microphone too. A robotic telepresence. So the idea that. Bottom, that's a pry hole so you can take off the back and access the removable battery. And there we have our micro USB port. There is a micro SD card slot. It is under the battery, unfortunately, but at least it's there. And on the back we have an 8 megapixel shooter. And on the front we have a video shot camera. You don't have the imaging chip in the camera, but you still get a couple of the neat features. For example, we'll launch the camera right now so you can see. We can start shooting a video of absolute blackness in this case, and at the same time we can take photographs. But you won't get things like 60 FIPS video recording here. Still pretty capable. So that's the HTC Droid Incredible 3 on Verizon Wireless, available soon.